What's up everyone? Okay, going back, back to basics today. This is kind of how I built my channel. Modes. What's up DJ Green Arrow? Before I start, I always give my discount code for, for the day. RB226 today. 20% off anything in my store. That's how I keep making these videos from you purchasing books, Beato book, mugs, it has all this information in it, but it's all in one neat, small, 461-page PDF that you need to have, actually. Anyway, so we're going to talk about modes. I talked about modes a lot early on in my channel, and I have videos on all the modes. Uh, all the modes of the major scale, melodic minor, harmonic minor, harmonic major, and double harmonic major. And I also have videos on the diminished scale, both the tonic diminished, the dominant diminished, and if I'm talking too fast, you can always stop the video and rewind it. Anybody that says, oh, this is going, this is like a fire hose or whatever, stop the video, back it up, look at it, get the Beato book, open it up, go to the page. Modes are right at the beginning, after I explain what intervals are. That's really, it really starts at the very beginning of what an interval is, which is simply the distance from one note to the next. Now. Here are the modes of the major scale. We're going to talk about it and talk about how to practice it, whether you're playing on the piano. Whoops, hold on, let me turn that on here. Okay, that's a good old C major scale there. We'll do this in C major, make it easy for you. Okay, so if I write out the modes using the numbers 1 through 7, which would indicate the major scale, so I'm going to do it like this on the guitar. Gonna go like this, C major, I'll do it up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back to one. So anything on this chart is going to be related to the major scale. So to get a Dorian scale or the Dorian mode, you flat the third and you flat the seventh of the scale. So instead of going like this, okay, instead of playing E, I play E flat. And then play a flat seven. So flat third, four, five, six, flat seven. Normally it would be normally it would be a major seventh, okay? So the Dorian mode is a major scale with a flat third and flat seven. We'll talk more about this. Phrygian scale is a major scale with a flat two, flat three, flat six, flat seven. Lydian scale has the raised fourth or sharp four. Mixolydian has just a flat seven, so it's a major scale with a flat seven. There's your flat seven. Your Aeolian scale has a flat third, whoops, flat six, sorry about that, and flat seven, okay? And your Logrian mode has, I say scale, I say mode, they're interchangeable, okay? Locrian has a flat two, flat three, flat five, flat six, flat seven. Almost all flatted, not the fourth. Uh, but these actually, if you start on C, they all come from different keys, okay? So if I do this, I write C Ionian. Well, C Ionian comes from C major. C Dorian, C Phrygian, C Lydian, C Mixolydian, C Aeolian, C Locrian. Each of these comes from a different parent scale, okay? So C Ionian obviously comes from C major. I'm going to go like this. I'll put a C with a little thing and I'll circle it like that, okay? C Dorian comes from the key of B flat major, okay? C Phrygian comes from the key of D flat major. C Lydian, okay, so that's the fourth mode, comes from G major. C Mixolydian, which would be the fifth mode, comes from F major. C Aeolian, okay, the sixth mode, so it comes, it's the, it would be off the sixth note of a particular major scale, okay, which would be E flat major in this case. And then C Locrian is built off the seventh note of a major scale. So if you just go down a half step, it's in D flat major. So, if you were to practice one mode to the next, you'd be going from, if you played C Ionian, then C Dorian, then C Phrygian, C Lydian, C Mixolydian, C Aeolian, C Locrian, you'd be going from the key of C major to B flat major to D flat major, oh, uh, Phrygian, I'm sorry, sorry, B flat, uh, um, uh, um, uh, 
a flat major. Sorry about that. Sorry. Um, uh, a flat major, G major, F major, E flat major, D flat major. If you look at it, it's moving in a flat direction. If you think about your circle of fifths, um, your sharp and flat direction, right? So flat direction, if you go C, if you see key of C is there, and the key of G flat is here, G flat, F sharp. This way, where your flats are, is going in a flat direction. So the F, uh, you probably can't see this, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, F sharp, B, E, A, D, and G, okay? Uh, this is a sharp direction. One sharp, two sharps, three sharps, four sharps, five sharps. It's all in the Beato book. Then uh, six sharps or six flats, five flats, four flats, three flats, two flats, one flat, and then no sharps or flats, all right? That's no sharps or flat. This is six flats or six sharps. Okay, so it's moving in a flat direction. So C major, B flat major, A flat major, G major, F major, E flat major, D flat major. Okay, now, how do you practice this, and what is this for? That's really the key. Why is this important? Um, well, it's important because it teaches you where the notes are on your instrument, whether it's on the keyboard, whether it's on the guitar, whether it's on your oboe, whatever. It also gives you sounds, okay? When I play this, which is the first chord from uh, Six Feet Under that was on HBO years ago, that was written by Thomas Newman. This is one sharp four five. That's E flat. Lydian triad, E flat Lydian triad. Hey Peter, how are you? Um, so, one sharp four five. That raised fourth has a certain sound to it uh, that uh, can be described as um, otherworldliness. Maybe you hear Lydian a lot in movie soundtracks. It's just a con it's just a common sound that that people uh, like to use. If anytime you hear, I don't have much room here with a board, but anytime you hear like. Uh, This kind of a sound is a uh, is that Lydian sound, but really this kind of a chord would be that sharp four. One, two, three, sharp, sharp four, five, six, major seven. Okay, I'll do it on the guitar, it'll be easier to see. Okay. Okay, so if I were to play a Lydian chord. It'd be a chord that would emphasize the sharp four. So this could be a Lydian chord. This is a C major seven, one major seven, third sharp four. So there's a scale, one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven, eight, or one, and it does it again. One, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven, the tonic, so. So if you're playing if you're playing a chord like this even like a 6 9 chord that's a lydian sound okay I can also play chords that are lydian chords so I can go like this That would be a lydian chord a beautiful beautiful lydian sound Okay, right there. So I'm playing a, um, right? I could do this too. I could play this simply. That's a beautiful Lydian chord. C, F sharp, G. So I got one sharp four, five, five. Um, one sharp four, five, nine, three. Uh, C six nine is actually C major seven. Ha 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 ha. Guess what, ha, Mr. Ha ha. I love doing that. You know, I love it. Love it. The band hammer strikes. Okay. Um, so a six nine chord you can play, and then you can play Lydian over it. Now, I just played a major pentatonic, a D major pentatonic, but starting with C in it. It's a 
great sound. There you go. That's a Lydian sound, okay? Uh, let me talk about Dorian. Now, a Dorian voicing would emphasize that, that uh, natural sixth. There's a Dorian sound there. Thank you, Richard. So Dorian, when I think Dorian, I can think all different kind of chords. There's your Dorian. There's that sixth. All right, that's that Dorian. That would be a great Dorian sound, Aura. Okay, that's Dorian. A Phrygian sound. Now, Phrygian would be something like this. I love Phrygian. Beautiful sound. That's where your Spanish sound. I always I like to play that. You can use it even on this. That's one of my favorite sounds on a dominant sus4. Playing Phrygian. What's up, Levi? So, um, um, so that is a Phrygian sound there, right? It's got the flat two, one flat two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. But but if I'm playing C Phrygian, I'm really playing. flat major starting on C okay uh, mixolydian now mixolydian is your five mode that could be for dominant sus4 chords I just did, I did Phrygian uh, over it, or you can do Mixolydian. Or it could be that. A dominant sus for chord. I'm playing B flat over C. This is a great sound. I love that. Or you know, uh, you know, that's like a dominant that you have in funk. passing notes that's your dominant sound okay then you have uh, Aeolian one of my favorites that's got the flat sixth in it this would be in what I would call an Aeolian sound or a flat six sound one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. Okay, that would be an Aeolian chord. You could have a low green chord too. A low green chord could be a half diminished chord, something like this. Because that's. There's your sound. It has a flat five in it.
beautiful sound there. And then uh, I think I went through all of them. Okay, so how do you practice them? Okay, well, there's a couple ways to practice them. You can uh, simply start out by playing a um, playing the chord, then playing the scale. Take a position. Let's say I'm down here. And I say, okay, Ionian, play an I what would be an Ionian voicing? Well, Ionian, in order to really know what makes one mode different from another, you have to look for where the half steps are in the mode, okay? So, if you take the Ionian mode, there's a half step between three and four. And there's a half step between seven and eight. Eight is being one, okay? So those are the important notes there. Those are the notes that define the mode. The half steps in Dorian are between two and flat three and between six and flat seven. These are the important notes. They give you that Dorian sound. Phrygian, the flat two, the one and flat two are very important to the sound. And then the five and the flat six are important to that Phrygian sound. Lydian is the sharp four and five, and then the seven and back to the tonic, the one. Eight is the one. Uh, Mixolydian has the three and four, and the six and flat seven. Notice none of these are occurring in the same places. They have their half steps all in different spots. Uh, Aeolian between the two and the flat three, and between the five and the flat six, and then Locrian has between the four and flat five, and between the one and the flat two. So those are your um, those are your notes that that the the scale steps, scale degrees that make the modes have their characteristic sound. Okay, so what you can do. Um, is you can take one position. Uh, so if I say C uh, Ionian, I could play a sound like this. Okay. Okay, I have the fourth in there, and I have the major seven. There's my beautiful Ionian sound. That's a major 7 sus 4 chord. This can be descri described as a vector-based array, as Jay said. Jay, come on, we can't confuse. That's too confusing. Um, Dorian. Okay, so I just played this chord. play Dorian, I'm going to play that. Then I'm going to play Phrygian. Then I'm going to play Lydian. DJ, did I say Ionian when I meant Lydian? Um, well, if I did, then I didn't mean to say that. Um, then, um, so that is my Lydian sound. Okay, I could also do Lydian like that. Right? Mixolydian could be this. Then we have Aeolian. Oh, uh, yeah. Then we have Locrian. I'm not sure this is going to work, but you can actually set up a little vamp. Whoops. What did I just do here? Okay, so I set up a little vamp here. This might be too loud. So. I'm 
I'm trying to stay in one position. That's Phrygian. Here comes Lydian. Here comes Aeolian, right here. Oh, I must have looped it wrong. Shoot. Because that went to Mixolydian there. Wait a second. I must have bounced it down wrong here. Let me open this back up here. One second here. Where's my Pro Tools here? Hold on. Maybe I did something wrong here. I thought I had Lydian in here. Hang on. Put a master fader on here. Turn this down a bit. That, and then we get Phrygian. Then oh, Lydian. Oh, and then okay, Mixolydian. So I had it right. Or I mean, I just went to the wrong one. Thank you. Um, so here we go. Then we go to Dorian. Phrygian. Then Lydian. Then Mixolydian. Then Aeolian. Okay, that's a, so that's kind of a pedestrian way to practice these. Each of the sounds, each of these modes, though, have a real sound to them. Okay, um, so by isolating what those important notes are here, and this is all in the Beato book, by the way, coupon code RB226, 20% off everything in my store. So when I'm playing Ionian... That's my Ionian sound, really, right? I love that. That is a great sound. That's more of an Ionian sound. I'm, I'm accentuating seven to eight, and I'm accentuating. I'm using that sus four. Nare Soul, what's up, Nare? There's my Ionian sound, okay? So I'm accentuating the three to four and the seven to eight. Then Dorian, I'm gonna accentuate the two to three and the, the six to, se to flat seven. it is. All right. Um, oh, did I skip Phrygian again? Oh, no, that was on Dorian. Okay. Then Dor then uh, Phrygian. That's that flat, too. So you want to... You wanna,
There's your Phrygian sound. That's, a, that's just a great, I love that. One, flat, two, four, five. You guys have heard that on here before. You can also practice patterns in these too, just to get, you, get the fingerings. Uh. There's your Phrygian sound. Lydian. Now Lydian. I just did a triad pair right there. But I'm I want to accentuate the sharp four to five and the and the root, a major seventh to root. So So that is a great sound. Right there, I'm playing it. That one, seven, one, sharp four, five. I love that. Beautiful, beautiful right there, right? All right, there's your Lydian sound, but you can do, like I said, triad pairs. So I'm doing C and D major. C, D major in inversion. C, root position, D major. sound right there. It's Lydian. Aeolian. One of my favorites. Right there. So I have my one and then five and flat six. And then flat two, I'm sorry, two and flat three. six I can do that one five flat six and then flat two or two and flat three thank you Tommy appreciate that uh, it's hard to do this Six five third or flat uh, I'm sorry flat third two then flat six fifth that's very hard to do okay so I'm accentuating those half steps I'm just playing those half steps between there, one, five, flat six, remember? So Aeolian, we got the five and flat six, we had the two and the flat three, and here's two and flat three up here. Then we got. But that C in the bass, and you really, really get that sound, okay? 
And then Locrian is that the flat two and the and then the four and the flat five. Okay, here's your flat five. And that's your sound there. Right? So you have to know where these notes are. There's your one, right? And your flat two. And then your four and um, one, uh, four flat, four flat five. Um, I'm trying to do them on different strings, right? So you can, I don't want you to get tendonitis doing this, but. You have that half diminished. You have the half diminished, thank you, Pierre. Half that you have the half diminished arpeggio right in there. Ah. Okay. Um, so every one of these have have arpeggios that you can play uh, when you're doing these things, okay, that you can practice that are out of these. If I'm playing in Lydian. You have that all those different intervals. There's that's it. Love that. Mixolydian. A lot of rock songs are in Mixolydian, you know. That's the sound. Mixolydian, Aeolian. sound right there. Woo! I love that. And so on and so forth. So that's really where you come up with these things. This is how they work. This is how they practice. Uh, this is how you practice them. What is that exercise? Well, that exercise, I just was taking certain notes out of that uh, C Aeolian. One, five, flat, six. Then it's flat three to four. And then I did flat seven to the third.
really hard to play. got that I'm hitting that that flat six I'm really really um, emphasizing that note it's just a great great sound love that flat six sound now all the modes of the melodic minor scale have their own uh, sets of half steps where they are the important notes those 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 tones that really create these sounds um, so what you need to do is the next thing you do is you go through those and you go through melodic minor and Dorian flat two and Lydian augmented and Mixolydian sharp 11, Mixolydian flat six and Locrian natural two and altered dominant, right? Thank you, Ivan, appreciate that. Um, Um, I'm going to do Genesis, Ivan. I am going to do Genesis. I was working on Genesis today for my What Makes the Sun Great. Um, what was I doing? Uh, Entangled. That's going to be uh, that's going to be coming up on one. All right. This is how you practice over modes. This is why they're important. This is how you learn them on the your instrument, no matter what they are. If you're on the piano and you're playing, oh, my piano shut off. If you're on the piano and you're, oh brother. Anyways, if you're on the piano and it works, um, then you can practice your modes. On the piano, same thing. You can play your, you can play your arpeggios. And I would practice doing. Find those target notes, right? And play those. Get them in your ear. Find find where they are. Those are really important. The the. And then you've got. Okay, that's our Lydian sound right there. I did the sharp four and five, and I did the eight, uh, seven and eight. Okay, all right. Um, uh, can we get a lesson on modal chord progressions, please? Yes, you can, Jay. All the modes can be found with a from the major scale starting on the tonic. Correct. That's right, Ed. That is correct. All right. So that's good for today. RB226. 20% off anything in my store. This is how I'm able to come on here and make these videos. So if you can support the channel or through the Beato Club. Thank you, Frank. The Beato Club is another way you can support the channel. Um, there's extra lessons on there, live streams, PDFs. Um, our Platinum thing has been sold out for a long time, but um, that, that opens up occasionally. And we have a new Platinum Plus um, higher level that's actually more like a consultation it's for help people with businesses or to help people build their, their YouTube channels or strategies for prom promoting yourself as an artist um, that that we just offer we only have a couple spots for that I don't have a lot of time for it but it's um uh, but check it out you can find out about it by going to uh, f to the Beato Club on my website or go to flat5.com which is Aaron's uh, website who's on here moderating that's flat5 f-l-a-t-f-i-v.com and find out about that 
You guys are the best. Subscribe here. Send my videos to your friends. Thank you, Skid Row. I, I see that. It's cool. Appreciate you buying the book. Um, um, any questions, put them in the comments. Give the thing, video a like and subscribe. You guys are awesome. All right. Thank you.